Welcome back number ninjas. So earlier video we learned how to get the trigonometric ratio using a unit circle or calculator with a given angle. But today we're gonna go backwards. So we have the trigonometric ratio given and we have to find the angle. Let's look at an example. So sine theta is equal to 1 over 2. So you have to inverse sine both sides, and inverse sine cancels out the sine, so you're left with theta is equal to inverse sine 1 over 2, and using a calculator, you'll get the answer. So the second sine and 1 over 2, you'll get either 30 or pi over 6, and the answer can be in either in degree or radians, depending on the mode of your calculator. And just a friendly reminder that minus 1 exponent looking is an inverse. So I'm going to do this question without a calculator, so I'm using a unit circle in this case. So cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and unit circle, we know hypotenuse always equal to 1. So root 3 over 2 is representing adjacent. So looking for that for the x coordinate on the unit circle, we found that in quadrant 1. So the x is root 3 over 2, and when angle is pi over 6 or 30 degrees. So that's how I figured it out using a unit circle. Here are some important rules. So when you inverse sine, the angle has to be between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And inverse cos, you need the angles between 0 to pi. And inverse 10, you need the angles between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Now I want you to pause the video and try these two questions, either using a calculator or a unit circle. So using our unit circle, the sine theta is equal to root 2 over 2. That means the opposite length has to be positive root 2 over 2. And that happens in quadrant 1 when it's pi over 4 or 45 degrees. And cos theta is negative root 3 over 2. So adjacent length has to be negative root 3 over 2. And I find that when angle is 5 pi over 6 or 150 degrees. And you can double check your answer using a calculator. Just a reminder from last week, cosecant is 1 over sine, secant is 1 over cos, cotangent is 1 over 10. Alright, number ninja, so let's move on to cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So questions given to you like this, cosecant theta is equal to 2. Very first thing I'm going to do is replace that with 1 over sine theta. So I get sine theta is equal to 1 half, and either using a calculator or unit circle, I know the opposite length is 1 half when angles pi over 6 or 30 degrees. Alright, so let's try another example. Secant theta is equal to root 13 over 2. So using substitution and cross multiplication, I get cos theta is equal to 2 over root 13. And these numbers don't exist in the unit circle we've been looking at, so we just have to draw a right triangle. 2 represents adjacent length of the right triangle, and root 13 is a hypotenuse. So we can find the opposite length using a Pythagoras theorem. And without knowing what theta the angle is, we can get sine theta, which is 9 over root 13, and 10 theta, which is 9 over 2 or 4.5. So I want you to pause the video and try secant theta is equal to 2. So first, I hope you replace that with 1 over cos theta, then you get cos theta is equal to 1 half, and using the unit circle, theta is pi over 3, or 60 degrees. Now I want you to try cosecant theta is equal to 4 over root 7, and find secant theta and cotangent theta for this. So substitute cosecant theta with 1 over sine theta, then you get sine theta is equal to root 7 over 4, and root 7 is telling you the opposite length of the right triangle, and 4 is a hypotenuse. And use the Pythagoras theorem, you should got the adjacent length, which is 3 in this case. And cos theta is 3 over 4, and secant theta you should got what is 4 over 3. And 10 theta is root 7 over 3, cotangent theta is 3 over root 7. So I hope you got that, and see you in class.